Well, things quickly changed in a matter of minutes for Windward Oahu as the thunderstorms developed. KITV Force Paul Drews continues our team coverage. And Paul, you were on the windward side tonight. What did you see there? Well, the showers may not have lasted long when the storms moved in, but they left a mess for a number of people to clean up, and not only from the rain, but also the lightning strikes. Storms dumped downpours along the windward side of Oahu. Heavy downpour, about 45 minutes to an hour, and I'm guessing, but based on what we saw in water flow, probably four to six inches. John Brack's house was hit hard by the heavy rains. It actually came over our retaining wall by about four inches. And the water was about up to here on our garage door. Along with water, the heavy rain swept mud under his home and across his yard. This was all the dirt from under the foundations around the house. You just washed it all straight across the yard, gravel, dirt, and uh, whatever debris was under there. Parts of Kailua were also soaked in a short time. This flooding took place by Kalaheo High School. The waters rising on the road so high, cars stalled. While in Waikane, water was not the only problem. The steeple of the Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church was hit by lightning. We heard a crackling boom with a flash of lightning. And we felt it so close to us, we were terrified at one point. And what's that sound? And we didn't realize that it was the, the lightning that struck the church. Debris was strewn around the church, and fire crews called to put a tarp in to cover up the gaping hole in the steeple. No one was around the church. I mean, around the church, at that time when the lightning struck, and as, you, as you, you may have seen, the debris flew all the way to the parking lot. While the wet weather didn't last long for Windward Oahu from the afternoon round of rain, this is the second downpour John and his neighbors have had to deal with in a week, and it being the wet winter season, they'll continue to keep an eye on the skies. I think we'll definitely have more rain given the weather patterns for the whole year. And of course, we're concerned the impact it's going to have on the house and the foundation of the house. And according to the Honolulu Fire Department, emergency crews are heading out to help a 20 foot long power boat that was also struck by lightning, which disabled its engine. The boat had drifted two to three miles offshore from the Spitting Caves area of East Oahu. Laura? All right, thanks, Paul.